what's up village scout from the runner's flat here to do a main review of the timex run trainer 2.0 a couple versions of it just know that for 225 you get a version without a heart rate strap for 275 you get heart rate involved on okay uh, I'm, I'm not necessarily i mean honestly the best guy to be reviewing all these electronics because i'm really pretty cut and dry i want to know how far you know i went how fast but i'm not normally using all these other bells and whistles that come with it. But I've been using this for over a year. I got it early um, from Timex and I actually got it from our rep and what happened was he sent it with this and the charger. No instructions, no box, nothing. And easy enough to set up. I'm not the techiest cat in town and I was still able to get on it and start using it right away. Okay, Totally rechargeable USB all ca you can also plug it into a wall charger or if you have one that the USB hooks into. Um, mine is with heart rate. It comes with a nice soft heart rate strap. And so what you get there is one, it feels better when you're using it. It doesn't rub you the wrong way. But two, it also usually, it seems like when you're using that soft strap, it just picks up your heart rate a lot easier. So what we've been doing with it is uh, before I go out, I get it just a little bit wet underneath with some water put it on it sinks right away the first time or two that you sink it it's trying to pull in all those coordinates and once it's synced up i've never had issues where it took me more than a minute or two to sink it and that would be on a cloudy day where i'm starting from a place where i haven't been before if that makes sense so all that's been good uh tracking's been really good timex is using the surf star system as far as i know uh all the companies are essentially using the same chips uh, so it's funny to me when people argue, well, my Garmin or my Timex or my Suunto, whatever it is, a lot of these places are using the same satellites. It really, to me, it's been uh, compared to saying, okay, Timex has always been a bomb-proof watchmaking company, and if this GPS unit lasts as long as their watches last, you're getting really good bang for your buck. I've been around the globe on this i raced xterra on it this summer wrecked my bike scratched it up done all these things uh takes a look and keeps on ticking everything's been good so what else to tell you about it gives pace per mile or your uh, miles per hour so it gives you both of those options you can flip through the screens it's easy to set up on the screen or you can plug it in and set it up inside their application on your uh, computer and that's really easier for you to do to set it up how you want. You get a change. It has three different uh, screens that you can flip through. And each one of those screens then has three or four rows that you can put information on. And so you get to pick that out and choose which one you want. You can always still get back to the daytime if you need to, even out of those screens. It has nutrition reminders, drink reminders. You can set it to vibrate every mile. Um, Downloads to Training Peaks within, you can map it, map it to Google Maps, wherever you want. Training Peaks is basically the online training plan that a lot of elite athletes are training with. And so you can look at all that stuff, track all your data, track your heart rate, gives you average, it has splits, it has laps. Probably the biggest thing I use is I want to know my average heart rate for different increments of time during workouts. And, you know, it spits all that back at you. You can, what's, what's nice as far as ease of use is that sometimes you have to plug it into your computer and do all these things to get rid of the files. You can delete the files on your watch from your computer or you can just go in and hit review and pull them up and delete them in your watch. That's been very handy if I'm getting ready to go out for a workout and I realize I don't have a lot of memory left on the watch. I can just throw some of those files that I really don't need out right away and make room. I've had other watches that were so technical that you had to plug it in and do all this through your computer interface and it was a pain in the butt. So I, you know, my thing with Timex right now is that they've done a good job. They took the Run Trainer 1 and took everything that they knew they wanted to change and that people had input about and changed it. This is a thinner case. It's a lightweight watch. It's not big. It comes in two different colors. And essentially what you're getting is a watch that does everything all these other watches can do but it's lasting. One complaint I've heard of a lot recently with some of uh, our customers that have watches from other companies is that they're starting to become like computers. After you've had it like a year, year and a half, it kind of pukes on you. And then, you know, it's not recharging anymore. This part of it doesn't work anymore. So far, I've not had that problem. I've banged the living daylights out of this watch. And so 
you know, I would tell you if you haven't looked into it, look into the Timex Run Trainer 2.0 because right now I I continue to use it and will until it pukes on me or Timex gets a new watch that I get to test out. So check them out. Yeah.